Hello everyone and welcome to this video. My name is Peter and today I'm gonna be showing you how to make this kind of basic animation using Keyshot and some basic things related to the lighting of this kind of model. You don't have to use exactly this model. If you want I will leave the download link. You can use any type of smartphone that is having this curved shape or any other product that you might want to render. And just a quick tip before we start, make sure to check out my channel called Phone Industry where I'm doing smartphone and tech related stuff and tutorials similar to this one. Also follow Design Pilot for more videos like this one. So let's start. Like I said, I'm having this model right here. You don't have to have, you don't need to have exactly this one. Anything similar will work. And I'm gonna switch to back camera because I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna be dealing with the lighting looking from the back because I'm a, I wanna focus myself on making the back look nice because at the front we just have the screen, the punch hole and the curves of the screen at the front are not so big so there is not much to show. Let's go to back. I'm gonna set my perspective to somewhere around 200 and for the distance let's say something like this or even yeah 1800 and let's save this camera and lock it so we don't lose it Let's start with the lighting first. Uh, mostly I'm using these kind of environments, so let's start with this one. I think our settings are pretty much at the default values, yes it is. Let's see what do we have to change and make this lighting, make this smartphone look good. I'm gonna change the resolution to some higher. Updates the HDRI and let's remove actually this this lighting pin I'm, I'm not definitely gonna need that one and let's see what do we need to do as well with these so at the moment we are also having yeah to play with the height I'm thinking that I'm gonna leave it at zero. What I'm having here is probably this one. Let's see if we turn it off. Yeah, so we don't need those two, just these two pins is what we need for a start. The brightness is kinda cool and let's add more pins. We just wanna highlight the shape of this smartphone. So the sides are already highlighted, but we can cannot really see the the back of the phone so let's add one pin and we're doing that by going here set highlights make sure to hold control on your keyboard <coughs> and click somewhere here somewhere around here on the smartphone and that's a lot better let's say done and let's just decide how much brightness we want right here Like 1.5 looks fine. Fall off, fall off is take a closer look to this pin. Fall off is let's say the value that's making the edge smooth or sharp. I just want slightly smoother edge and slightly bigger pin. Maybe even more. I think that this is fine and I'm really happy with this one. I, I will definitely put lighting slightly down, I mean brightness, because like this I'm having like a, a slightly darker back and I can then push these side pins to really highlight this side curve. And let's see if we wanna just go slightly 
bigger on the x axis, axis for this pin. Let's see how far we can go actually. So 75 and I'm gonna set, set 75 on this one. So now these curves are very uh, well looking and they are uh, very well blend with the back. What is missing as you can see we are having top and bottom pretty dark and it doesn't look great so let's add some pins to make it visible. Uh, we have this camera I'm gonna switch to free camera and zoom on this area. The process is, is, is the same, we go to set highlights, control and click somewhere around here and that's kind of nice as you can see uh, what we have at the moment is this uh, back face is looking very well and also you can see slightly the metal bezel. The only thing that is still missing though is kind of let's say it's not well connected with this side curve as you can see so uh, let's switch this uh, pin I'm gonna remove some of the Y axis so Y axis and X axis are dimensions of this pin you can also try cir circular, circular shape I'm sorry for my English I think the rectangular works a lot better for this case so 50 and let's expand to maybe even a hundred so that kind of works better maybe 100 by 60 yeah that is now almost perfect and for brightness 4 is fine as for the fall off let's stick with 1 Update, update the HDRI and let's switch back to our camera. As you can see the top looks perfect, sides are looking great and let's just duplicate this pin we just made. It's called overhead so duplicate. I'm gonna switch to free camera again and go here at the bottom of the phone and click on this duplicated pin, set highlight, this time don't hold control just click somewhere around here and this is I believe the job done. You can play with the position of this pin to make it kinda nice and also blend well with this side curves. What I think it's preventing it from blending well is the fall off. Let's make it smaller. Yeah, definitely. So somewhere around 0.5 we can put brightness down. Brightness around 2. Okay, switch to the main camera. I'm just gonna slightly play with the position of this one. Yes, so it, it looks fine right now. And the top one, let's also update that one. So fall of 0 0.5 and brightness of 2. What's also catching my eye is this uh, pin number 5 that is used for the back. We don't need that much light actually. So let's cut the brightness to something smaller like 0.6. That's the thing done with the lighting. Uh, by staying in this camera we can now switch to animation. For a start I'm gonna add rotation for our model and we want just a one cycle so that's 360 degrees on Y axis. You can use original axis, finish. 
I'm gonna switch to 10 seconds and let's see how it looks so right now as you can see the model is spinning it's gonna make like a full cycle but what's interesting about it is as you can see when I'm rotating it the light is also rotating at the same time and it's not making the model looks very cool so let's see what can we do about that I'm gonna go again to animation wizard and this time I'm gonna add orbits so this is the camera going around the model use our main camera and add 360 degrees just like we did for the first one I'm just gonna expand this to 10 seconds and now let's see what's gonna happen now as you can see the model is standing still while the environment or let's say our lighting is actually moving this is because we have set the model to rotate and we also set key shots to orbit one time around the model so we kind of um, we kind of uh, eliminated that rotation but instead we got our HDRI moving around the model now in order to have the boat to have both model move and everything looks great just add another 360 degree that's gonna be 720 and now if you take a closer look from the beginning the model, model is rotating and the lighting is kind of following it just like in the video I did and that's mostly everything also what I did in the in my video I have set the background to be slightly gray to have this monochromatic look for my video and also I have added a vignette so kind of you focus your eye on the middle of the screen and it it would it looks great also for a rendering as you can see I'm in the basic when it comes to uh, settings you can use product you can use interior if you want but I don't see a lot of difference the only difference I see is going from the product to the basic and this is really actually important because using different settings will increase or decrease your rendering time also as you can see when you switch to product uh, settings you get the floor you get the ground illumination and it kind of it's kind of affecting our model in a negative way so make sure to have that off I don't want my lenses to be blue in a real life they ain't really blue so I'm just gonna go with basic and this is also uh, decrease the rendering time make sure to really um, take care of that rendering, rendering time because you're gonna be having around 10 seconds which is 300 frames and you don't wanna waste too much time on some unnecessary stuff so settings for the animation I would say that these are just enough for a decent video and I have rendered my video with these settings like I said if you switch to product you're gonna get some different numbers I don't recommend that because you're mostly not getting a lot unless you really want this to look different and that will be everything for this video you can now render if you did everything right I hope you enjoyed and learned something and see ya in some of my next videos don't forget to subscribe to design pilot bye